A very rough start to the school year for Cobb County educators, students and parents. Good evening. I'm Sean Gables and I'm Rick Fulbe. I'm glad you're with us on this Tuesday. Widespread issues are boosting students offline, booting them offline as the state's second largest school district stumbles a bit out of the gate. Tonight, parents say their children are missing out on learning and in at least one case being marked as absent after not being able to log on. CBS 46 is Adam Murphy live tonight exploring the issues and Adam, you've really been trying to find a solution. Good evening, Sean. I've heard from several parents in Cobb County who are beyond frustrated with the district's online platform known as CTLS and are now calling for accountability. For the second straight day, thousands of Cobb County students missed out on school activities. Several parents reported having trouble connecting to the district's online CTLS portal. Others complained they were booted off the system. It's been extremely frustrating, it's been disappointing, and it's very sad to see your children so deflated. Lenore Willis has a sixth grader, freshman, and senior in Cobb County Schools and said the first week has been a disaster. My son took 15 minutes to log on this morning. His teacher had connectivity issues, and then I was just upstairs with my middle schooler in tears because she could not get into first period. Willis said some of the teachers have decided to circumvent the CTLS platform and set up Zoom calls with their students. And my two high schoolers have nine teachers between them. Five of them sent out separate Zoom links, five. Willis is not alone. Elizabeth Clark said her child was marked as absent after her connection failed. She said, quote, to add insult to injury, I received a text from Cobb County Board of Education about attendance, tardies, and excused absences. First day of school, first absence. There goes attendance. We have called, or I have called, I'll speak for myself, the board. I have emailed the board and the superintendent, and we get no responses or very sporadic responses from certain board members. And I feel like that's appalling. Now, a district spokesperson told me that they are addressing these bumps in the road as they may occur. And they also said the transition to remote learning is going better than they expected. Now, coming up next hour, I'm actually going to press school officials a little bit more on what they are doing to try to resolve these issues. And you'll have to tune in to find out what they had to say about parents and students that are still having connectivity issues. Live at the Cobb County School District office here in Marietta, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.